Hi everyone, it's Pete here. Now it's been a year since we unfortunately had a fire at our house which was caused by a LiPo battery that was on charge in my old hobby room. Uh, now I'm here in my nice new hobby room, but uh, what's happened between then and now? Well, it's a long story. So all of those things happen now. Let's have a little look around. Let's start over here. Now, I've got this, uh, this is an interesting thing. It's a MF01X chassis with a Midnight Pumpkin Lexan shell on it. Uh, now, I didn't do this one. Rick found this on eBay and he subsequently sold it to me and it's a nice little uh, garden runner. Uh, this is a Mazda 2. Uh, it's on an M05 front wheel drive. Uh, this one is an MX-5. Now, I had this before the fire, luckily the shell was in the loft and well, the chassis. Uh, now this is now on a back wheel drive M06 chassis, as it always should have been. I don't know why Tammy didn't do that, but it was originally on the uh, M05 that I've now used for the Master 2. Um, got the Mini, which is a M01 chassis that's featured before with all the original electrics. 
This is my fast attack vehicle. Uh, now, luckily this wasn't in the fire, but the wheels were, so I've had to get some new wheels. This is a shelf queen now, because it's getting a bit brittle. This is from my youth, um, so it's from about 84, I can't remember when that came out, about 80s. This one is the FTX Tundra. Uh, it's based on a Toyota Land Cruiser, but I guess they didn't have the licensing, so they called it a Tundra. So I bought that as a rolling chassis, just had to paint the body. Um, so that's that. I've uh, got some uh, spare body shells up here. Uh, some are still being worked on. Um, now, kits to build. I've still got the holiday buggy to do. Uh, I've done the lunch box, but I'm just going to do the spare shell for that. Um, got the Kong head here to do. I'm waiting on some aluminium shots from Time Tunnel. Uh, and I'll get on with that one. Uh, just got general uh, storage bits and pieces in here. So we've got the Mercedes AMG is on a TLO one, I think. Uh, this is one that I bought second hand, it's with the Mini. It's all original electrics, hasn't been run. Uh, Escort Cosworth on a TAO one, I think. Uh, again, hasn't been run, all original electrics. May run it one day, but it sort of seems a bit too nice, but maybe. Anyway, back over on this wall, we've got the Tracks a slash with the Baja body on. Uh, got the Firestorm, HPI Firestorm. Uh, tell me a lunchbox. And the GFO1 with the Jiminy shell there. Uh, got the DT02 with the Titan shell there. Uh, AcroShot uh, DT03, uh, DT03 chassis. And that's about it for the cars at the moment. So I've got my general work area here. And uh, so I've got my TV and uh, lounger there for watching the telly. And that's a quick look up here. Now I still need to um, paint the door and also paint through with the frame. So this end is sort of the garagey end. Uh, now I need to do some work redoing the shelves and chucking some stuff out. I've got my beer fridge there. I've got the lunchbox shell in progress there and the uh, Datsun 240 shell there in progress and uh, so it's just where we keep the bikes and everything up here but I do need to do a better job of shelving it up and making use of the space and we've still got the original sort of up and over garage door there. Now I'm charging the batteries um, in this bat safe box on the floor now so if one does go up now uh, hopefully no more disasters and there'll just be a bit of uh, smoke so um yeah that's about it for uh, for the new hobby room okay so that's where i'm at now recently i've got over 500 subscribers so that's brilliant and uh, just to thank everyone who takes the time to watch the videos and comment um the youtube thing has opened up a whole new world of uh, friends online um because otherwise I'll be just doing it to please myself, but uh, no, it's great there's this online community out there. Uh, I won't mention names because I'm bound to forget people, but you know who you are, all the regular contributors. So um, anyway, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you next time.